This informational and educational video series contains eight chapters that has to do with the state employees of California that they are in process of decertifying SEIU Local 1000 and want to replace them with their own employee association, CPPEA. Chapter one is about an ideal union or employee association. Chapter two is about what kind of organization is SEIU. Chapter three is about the options that we have. Chapter four is about what we have done so far. Chapter five talks about what we must do now. Chapter six is about what is decertification. And chapter seven about is when and how we're going to decertify SEIU Local 1000 and replace it with CPPEA. And chapter eight is about what kind of organization is CPPEA, California Professional Public Employees Association. After four effective and strong grassroots campaigning in order to reform SEIU, tonight we will be able to tell you and report to you and also give you the alternative of what we thought we should be done, should be doing and what should be done. In 2007, we start campaigning against the corruption of SEIU and we thought we can reform the SEIU, but unfortunately, after trying everything that we possibly could do from protesting and from participating in elections, going into arbitrations, and also legal actions, anything that we could do, we did, but SEIU is totally irresponsible, unaccountable, and corrupt. We could not do anything about it. And tonight, we are going to present to you eight informational and educational video chapters and in each one we're going to be telling you about what we have seen, what we have done and what should be done. Chapter one of eight is about an ideal union or employee association. What an ideal employee association or union should look like. Could you tell me for, for my sake and also for sake of our viewers, what do you think is an ideal union? An ideal union? Um, well, I, I think you have to go back to start with the principle of what is a union mm -hmm. and it's essentially the employees coming together to improve their conditions at work and to improve their lives and so you start with that premise and then you say okay well what moves us in that direction and so obviously because it is the employees coming together it's got to be driven by the employees um, you know, most unions have some staff to do a lot of the work and that's appropriate because the members tend to be working full time. Um, and so you need somebody to be able to do the work, but it has got to be, what that work is, has got to be driven by and determined by the members. If the members aren't setting the program and driving the train, mm -hmm. then you really don't have a union. An ideal union or employee association is the one that is by people, for people, and of people. Democratic, transparent, accountable, service-oriented, and non-political. This employee association or union collects adequate and fair amount of dues from the members and in exchange provides 
services. Services like bargaining every two, three years to protect and expand the common interest, only the common interest of these members. Or in this case, a state employees of California. The employee association or union makes sure that uses professional and experienced people in government negotiation and government contracts to sit across from the basically attorneys of a governor and negotiate a contract to secure the interest of fee payers and members in terms and condition of the work hours and wages and also how to represent people and to protect the members and fee payers from abusive management. The political activity and participation of an employee association or union must be limited to only those pieces of legislation that has to do with common interest of every single member of this units, bargaining units, and fee payers, and nothing else. An ideal union, an employee association, as we said, we reiterate again, is not a political entity. It has to do with protection of interest of people, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very simple matter that we should understand. We should know what an ideal union and or employee association is and what we should be expecting. So we pay adequate and fair amount of dues in return. What we should get is service from our true service by professionals from our employee association or union in areas of bargaining, a good contract to protect our interests and expand our interests and also to represent us at workplace for employee, employer matters and situations that might arise. And that's it. The next chapter or chapter two of eight is about what SEIU is and what kind of union SEIU is. Please stay tuned for the next chapter.